the flagship store in Chicago, Illinois, founded in 1852. The early partners were Marshall Field, Levi Leiter, Potter Palmer, Harry Gordon Self Selfridge, and John G. Shedd. If that last name sounds familiar, the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Previous owners of Marshall Fields in 1982 to 1990, they were owned by Batis Incorporated. And then in 1990 through 2004, they were owned by the Target Corporation. And then from for about a year, 2004 to 2005, May Department Stores Company owned Marshall Fields along with a bunch of other regional nameplates throughout the United States. And then in 2006, Marshall Fields' name ceased to exist and became Macy's as it is now. And it is one of four flagship Macy's stores in the United States. This building was built in many phases. And after many years of building a whole bunch of interconnecting buildings, tearing down structures on State Street, the final building was completed in 1907. And this is the building that you see here now. In one of the atriums, there is a Tiffany glass ceiling. And that is the original ceiling from 1907. And it is the first and largest ceiling ever built in Favreau glass containing 1.6 million pieces of glass. I'm just recording this uh, just off the cuff here, but when you see it, it's the uh, blue Tiffany. There's like blue uh, ovals. That is the ceiling that I am talking about. Amazing, beautiful. Seattle-based Frederick and Nelson created the Frango Mints that you see now that Macy's continues to sell. And then later on, Frederick and Nelson closed down in 1992. And when they were a store in Seattle, it had the same font as the Marshall Fields logo. So Marshall Fields does have a very, very, very rich history. And I think it does kind of go beyond the scope of, uh, of what, what, I, what I was intending to do here. My intention was to give a nice tour of the flagship, the former flagship Marshall Field store, which is now Macy's, and emphasizing the aesthetic and the architecture of this beautiful store. The atriums, very nice. I could not, I unfortunately could not get good shots of the walnut room. There was an event going on in there, um, so I couldn't get into the Walnut Room. However, I, I did my best to get some shots inside of the Walnut Room. I know that's a very important part of the store, um, but like I said, there was an event going on, so I couldn't get in, into the uh, Walnut Room. 
So again, this is a very, very vintage store. It's an old store. It's well over a hundred years old. Love the architecture of this store. I didn't go through all the floors. I mostly just went through the men's department, which took up uh, two, two or three floors. I forgot how many. I think it was like two and a half floors it was the men's department. And then I got up to the seventh floor where the walnut room was, uh, focused on uh, some of the artifacts that were on the seventh floor. And then I was also in the basement emphasizing the gourmet food section. And, uh, and there was also a bookstore downstairs as well. So this is a little bit of a longer video. I hope you enjoy the tour of this uh, beautiful former Marshall Field store. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Like, comment, and share these videos, please. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. Enjoy this store, please. It's a beauty.